Okay, let's start today's discussion with a little bit about our forge burner. Trying to do this with one hand and illustrate with one hand might be a little difficult. But this is the probably, well, this is one of the essential points other than, you know, having a uh, forge to put it in. Uh, without this setup and without this system working right, you're not going to get up to temperature. So, the forge we're building, I've chosen to be a forced air propane system. Uh, which means you're going to have to have an air pump, and that's noisy, and blah, blah, blah. I've heard all the stuff about it. But, it's just so much better than a Venturi burner, in my opinion, that it's, uh, it's well worth it. So... Uh, what we have here is our gas inlet. This will come from our propane tank. I've got a 0 to 20 uh, regulator, 0 to 20 PSI regulator. We should be able to run around 5 PSI maybe uh, with a forced air system, which is uh, good. We'll save a lot of gas. thing about Venturi burners, they use a lot of gas. And if we're on a budget like I am, the gas is expensive. So... Our propane tank is going to come into this nipple here. We have a ball valve here. And what this does is it lets the, this is just a total on and off. Ball valves are on and off. So on, gas is coming, off it's not. Gas is traveling here. It hits this elbow and it slows down. You know, when we say slow down, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> you can't even put a number to it. I guess some engineer could somewhere, but, you know, it does slow down some. And it starts to spin in this chamber here, in this elbow. And it continues down, spinning, and it hits this T right here. This T is coming from our air pump. If you're on a budget, you're using a shop vac. That's what I'm using, a shop vac. After I start making money on knives, we'll use an air pump. But air pumps are expensive. They are quiet, and they are powerful, And uh, but a shop vac will do until you can afford one. Got a gate valve here. This will allow me to control the amount of air coming through. Now, I don't know how my shop vac will hold up to choking it off air-wise, but uh, we'll find that out here in a little bit. So, uh... So we're traveling here, our air and our gas meet here, they mix a little bit, not much. Your gas will tend to stay on one side and your air will tend to stay on one side and they'll not mix the greatest, but they will mix. They'll hit this elbow here and they'll slow down and have time to mix. Not only will they mix, they'll start to swirl. Swirly, swirly. Little Shirley. They'll swirl down this pipe into our nozzle. Now this nozzle has what we're going to use. Another pipe is we're going to use as our burner here. This burner is going to have this little screen that I concocted here. I still have a little more work to do to get it to fit. Stainless steel screen. It's kind of thin, but you got to have thin to get in there. Uh, reason you want a screen instead of a full out flame is this screen will bust your flame into all those little flames. And it's just more efficient. It's all those little points of flame. So your flame will come out there. This coupler will be welded to the side of our forge setting in this. So what I might do is I might tap and dye this. Uh, that way I can, uh, you know, put some uh, clamps down onto the, uh, the burner itself, make sure it don't slide around. But I made this burner long enough to where I could make it crooked and it should stay in there on its own. We obviously don't want that much of the burner sticking down into the forge. Uh, but this is a dual use burner. I, you know, 
Uh, these pipes here, if you were to go to the hardware store and buy them and didn't have this stuff laying around, you're looking at about 80, 80 to 90 dollars in these little bit of pipes here. You want to use black pipe, not, uh, well, you want to use brass fittings, but you want black pipe, not galvanized, because galvanized, whenever it heats up, which you're only really going to get heat down here, there will, there'll be no heat up here. As a matter of fact, the gas will be cool and the air will be cool. But you want to use uh, black pipe, not galvanized, because galvanized will let the zinc off when it gets hot. And uh, that's not good. So uh, that's about it for our burner. I'm going to put it together. Oh, this burner is a dual-use burner with our furnace that we're building. The furnace is done, actually. I just test-fired it a little bit ago with a propane torch to heat it up, get a little bit of the uh, moisture out of it. I will probably use paste thread compound instead of uh, Teflon tape because Teflon tape sucks. I don't like it. Uh, and I'm going to put this together and I will probably time lapse the video so you can see it. And when we're done, we will put some uh, put some fire to it. And we'll put it in our uh, we'll put it in our furnace, our metal melting furnace, and bring it up to heat and check to see how it works. So uh, anyway, stay tuned.
Okay, folks, here we go. Here's our forced air propane forge burner. This will go in the side of our forge and our furnace out here. It's very difficult to get this mixture correctly, oxygen and gas and blower. Uh, we've got our gas here. We've got both of our gates here. They're both closed. Do not try this at home. Uh, once I turn the blower on, you will not be able to hear me. You'll notice that I've used black pipe not galvanized so i'm not gonna poison myself uh yeah so uh this is uh how she works this is how she will work and uh hopefully we don't put it out again but like i said uh don't you won't hear my voice when i turn the blower on here we go That's how she works and uh, as long as you don't push too much gas and air and blower at the same time I should be able to push the forge up to 2500 degrees so uh, anyway this is all very hot now worked pretty good just don't oversaturate excuse the uh, messiness of my workshop but uh, that's how she works Whenever I get the propane burner in the uh, furnace out there, we'll make another video. Uh, thanks for watching.